hello, it's Hui again from the International Services Office. The event's just taken place, snow trip to Ruapehu and the Nuhumarai over the weekend. Wonderful feedback and great posts on Facebook, so thank you for looking at that and sharing it for us. I heard you all had a really good time. Um, do remember to share those links around so that your friends at back home can, can see what we're doing here at the University. Upcoming events. On the 25th of October we have a farewell ceremony for international students. Now this ceremony is designed for students who are returning home at the end of B semester and won't be back for graduation. So if you fall into that category and in particular if you're an NZA student or a study abroad and exchange student, keep an eye out for the emails that I'll be sending you and on Facebook I'll make a post and register for that event. The extra good thing this year is that the Vice Chancellor will be attending and he'll be the one that hands you the certificate. So it's a great photo opportunity for you there too. It's a busy time for all students. Here's a few tips just to get you through this busy time. Student learning and the language and learning support offered to you on campus. It's a great way to prepare for exams and any assignments that you might have. Also, it's very important to make the time to relax and unwind. So spend some time in your day exercising, watching TV, playing PlayStation, something that you enjoy doing. It'll, you'll find that it'll help you with the exams and the exam preparation. The exam timetable is now available online. Make sure that you know the dates and the times and the rooms in which your exam will take place. And accordingly, you will need to book your airfares for your return flight home after the final exam that you have. That's an important thing. If you're also booking a two-way ticket to come back again next year, remember that the start date for 2013 for a semester is the 25th of February. So try and be here at least a few days before that so you can be enrolled and ready to start. On the topic of exams and assignments, students do tend to get sick or uh, fall under a lot of stress during this time as well. Make the most of the campus medical centre. They have counsellors and doctors that you can see under your insurance policy for free. This can also help you with applying for compassionate consideration for grades, for assignments and tests, exams that you may miss. On a more serious topic, the grades for this semester will count towards your re-enrolment for next year, not only with the faculty in which you study, but for your renewal of your visa. So really push and motivate yourself to try and get through this period and get some pass grades. Immigration's requirements of you are that you pass 50% of the papers in the current semester in order to apply through us on Students Online for a renewal of your visa. And as you know, it's cheaper, more convenient. You get to keep your passport and it's faster if you have to apply directly to immigration. And the chances are it will take longer and there is no guarantee that you'll get your visa. Daylight saving, make the most of it. Hours of sunlight after 5 o'clock to spend on the university fields playing soccer, tennis, rugby, whatever you like to do. It'll be a lot of fun and warm to do it too. I'll be back next month to talk about some tips about returning home. See you then.